Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shishui back with another video. And today I'm going to be telling you about all the different types of secret achievements and how exactly to get them if you don't already know. Let's get into it. Now, if you already don't know how to get them, then hopefully this video can help you out in any way, shape, or form. And if it does, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notice because it really helps and supports the channel. Now, let's first start off with Legend, one of the most easiest ones that you're probably going to get done no matter what you do. First off, Legend is just 2,500 missions. Yep, you heard it right, 2,500 missions. That's a pretty simple task in my opinion. Now, at the beginning of this month in July, I started at 1,000 800 to 1850 and i managed to get done all the rest of the ones that i needed in just three days that's about 200 to 250 a day i'm not really too sure i'm not counting this is just a guess off the top of my head but um basically the videos that you're watching here right now is exactly the fastest method that i could find to doing it going on outskirts and aberrant level missions turning on from nightmare all the way to fog if you have six cents, that is. If you do not have six cents, then I do not recommend fog, but having six cents obviously really helps. Now doing this with either Rising Slash or doing it with the Blade Blade move you get from the Ackerman Clan, Fritz, or Shiki really does help. Obviously, if you have Shiki, then you won't need that. But um obviously having either the slashing move, the rising slash, or having the blade blade move can help you get your transformation to go into titan form quickly now if you're doing this in odm i would suggest doing it with the multiple people so this way you can get the mission done even faster i think the fastest time i was able to do it with titan form is 39 seconds next we're going to talk about immortalize immortalize is 500 deaths to a thousand i don't exactly remember the total count but i'm pretty sure it's in between those two numbers there you can probably look it up online or something like that but when i did it i believe it was 500 but anyway, fastest way to do it is if I would say go into an aberrant level mission on either giant forest or outskirts and just leave on maybe a tiny task or, you know, an auto kind of move thing. So this way you're running straight into Titans. Obviously, you don't need to do that, but, you know, you can if you want. I would suggest it. But for educational purposes, I'm going to say you should use it. Um, besides that, though, you know, going into it turn on all the mods just make it supremacy and this way you just go straight into a bunch of titans they'll kill you instantly and you'll be quick and easy done with it in a good two to three hours i want to say if you just leave your computer on over the night you could do that too so yeah that works because then you'll definitely have it done by the morning but yeah i would suggest doing this after something like fearless so this way you don't have to deal with getting your streak back after you die Speaking of Fearless, what we are going to be talking about is Fearless. Now, Fearless is 2,000 kills without dying. Now, it's a pretty simple task, honestly. When I was doing the missions for Legend, I got 2,000 kills um, in about two days. So, 10,000 kills a day, that's pretty easy, especially if you have Titan Shifting. Um, obviously, Titan Shifting makes it easier. If you have something like Jaeger, it's going to keep you alive if you don't have Titan Shifting. So, I would suggest either Titan Shifting or Jaeger. Obviously, you don't need those two to get it. I think the first time I got Nightfall, I had Reese. And um, it took a while, but I managed to get it done. So yeah, obviously having Titan Shifting or Jaeger helps you out quite a bit. But, you know, if you're good enough, you can get it done. One other thing that I would also recommend is that you can go into raids with maybe a group of people. This is only for Titan Shifting, though. You can go into a raid with groups of 10 people. So this way you have a whole bunch of Titans spawning. You can get at least 100 kills every single raid, no problem. Or you can just get to the second wave, second phase, sorry, where you're fighting Eren. And this way, when they're fighting Eren, you can just go around killing Titans. And by the end of it, depending on how long you want to take, you can stay in there forever. You can stay in there until you get to 20k kills if you want. But obviously, that's a big time waste. I think it's much faster to go into missions and do it. But, you know, doing raids is also a valid option. Next up, we got Champion. Champion's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you already know. But basically, what you're going to be doing is getting on top three on any of the leaderboards, which is a pretty difficult task. I definitely, personally, myself, would not want to be doing it. I'm not really going for it either. But by the time of this video, I think I am on the leaderboard for Shrieks. I'm number four, I believe. So yeah, you know, that's a W right there. But I'm not going out of my way to get it. Now, Overlord. Overlord is just like Fearless, really. It's just about 30k more kills. And that's, uh, that's not fun. 
I'm not gonna lie. I think that was, um, you know, it's kind of just one of those things that you get by going. You don't need to go out of your way to go get it. As you get the prestige three, you're gonna be like 40k kills in, I believe. So I would recommend just doing it passively because, you know, you're gonna get it done passively anyway. And by the time you get Titan Serum, just kind of do the things I was telling you with about Legend or the missions. Because when you're doing 2,500 missions, especially if you're doing the solo, you're going to get that in no time. So don't even worry about it. Next one we are going to talk about is Encounter. Encounter is play a game with a dev. Now you don't have to play an entire game, but you do need to get into a lobby with them and they have to start it up. Now, luckily, I was lucky enough to get it um closer to the beginning of last month or i think it was in april maybe i don't remember exactly but ek was just kind of handing it out and i managed to get in even before he started streaming so yeah i got pretty lucky for it but it's really either between this champion and warbringer that you need to have at least one of those but that's just kind of how it is next one is omnipotent now omnipotent is going to be the one where you need all of the achievements now this one it's definitely going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. Most players aren't going to be getting this unless they have no life. Now, me, personally, I have no life. So I'm going to be getting this at some point, probably. If I get champion, then I'll have all the achievements in the game. So, yeah. But besides that, you know, you need all the achievements to get it. So hopefully you can get there at some point. Now, the one you've all been waiting for, Warbringer. Now, let me tell you, Warbringer is not easy at all. Honestly, one of the most difficult achievements there is in this game at the very moment, besides when Supremacy first came out. Even then, Supremacy is nowhere near as difficult as Warbringer. Personally, Warbringer was a super challenging to do, and if you don't have a good team, you're not going to be able to do it. But let me put on the clips of when me and my allies were doing it, so yeah, give me a second here. Now for Warbringer, when you're loading it to Tross, what you're going to want is to have one of your teammates wear the cloak, right? Personally, me and my team, I was the one wearing the cloak and the cloak guy is usually meant to go stand on the wall and he's going to attract all the Titans on the left side. Let me give out a really detailed map so you can see what I'm talking about here. Now the map that is appearing on your screen right now is a very well illustrated drawing of the plan that we had set in motion. Now obviously you have the A, B, and C side. You can have other sides if you want to add other sides, but this was just how ours worked. Now for phase one, you're going to have the guy with the cloak go into the wall as you see on the screen behind it. And that's going to be kind of where he's going to be for the rest of phase one. Now, obviously, he's going to be gathering Titans to go over there and to gain aggro on him. After that, the other two teammates, one's going to be stationed in part A and the other one's going to be stationed in part C. They're going to grab the Titans from over there and lead him over to the cloak guy. After that, they're going to hop over the wall to lose aggro and go around it a, a good distance so this way they lose aggro from them. Now, after all the times that I aggroed onto the cloak guy, the two other teammates, or you can just have one to save gas, are going to be killing titans that are down below aggroed to the cloak guy. The other teammates, if you decide to do one person killing it, or at least depending if you have three or not, we did it with three, but you can do it with more if you want. But more titans, it's like five titans added for another person, I think, or something like that. But besides that, you're going to have the other person that's not killing titans waiting at the boulder just in case any titans do come near the boulder. So this way they can just kill them easily in case they lose aggro on the cloak guy. The other teammate is going to be killing titans and after 9 titan kills, a new wave is going to spawn. After the new wave starts, the other two people are going to go out and go find the new titans to bring them back over to the wall. And then after that, it's going to be just rinse and repeat over and over again until all waves are set up. I believe with three people, you know, actually it doesn't matter with all the amount of people. It's four waves per person, or it's four waves, sorry, in general, and it's five extra titans per person. So I believe for three amount of people, it's about 64 to 70. So it wouldn't be too bad. It's pretty light work, to be honest. After you get it done the first time, it's going to be much more simpler the times after. So yeah, moving on to second phase, which is definitely going to be the easier of the two, I believe. You are going to have your teammates stand on the wall and you're going to have to lead Aaron outside. Now, actually, in the beginning, you're going to have your teammates 
lure the titans away from Eren so this way one of you can go lure Eren outside, specifically the one with the cloak to make it the easy, you know, to get his aggro more easily. You're going to lure him outside, and then once you have him outside, you're going to take him to either the left or the right. Personally, I like taking him to the left side of the wall to make things a little bit easier. After that, you're going to have your teammates stand on the wall while you or another person goes for the weak spots in him. Now, the weak spots are very important. If it's his face, you're not going to have anyone stand on the wall, and you're going to have him aggro to you. So this way, you can double dash straight into his face to get a hit, or you can hit him from the side, whichever you want to do it from. But if it's anything like the arms, legs, or it's just the neck, I would recommend that you have them aggro Aaron onto the wall, right? And then you have one teammate coming in from the side to hit him. Because if you try hitting him from behind, he's going to grab you 9 times out of 10 and you're going to probably die. That's if you don't have a lot of HP, that is. But besides that, for the legs and arms, you're going to hit them from the side and it takes about 5 hits depending on how much damage you actually do. I believe... I did about 140 to 150k damage. So it takes about five hits to the arm or legs in order to actually break it. Now, once he is on his hands and knees, pause. Once he is on his knees, he's going, <laughs> he's going to be able to take a lot more damage to the back of the nape. So this way, all your teammates are going to jump down from the wall and you're going to attack it simultaneously at the same time. Or you can do it, you know, however you want to order it. It doesn't really matter because I don't know why I said simultaneously. But besides that, it's kind of all the same generally around. You're going to just do that rinse and repeat. If someone has to heal or someone has to go refill gas, what I would recommend is you get far away. So say Aaron is doing a running animation instead of healing. So this way he won't be able to heal as much as when you normally fight him. Besides that, that is possibly the best way that I could recommend to do Warbringer. It's definitely not an easy task, and most players aren't really going to get it done as is. They probably will have to nerf it again, I'm not going to lie. But good luck to all of you, and if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.